Uh, dear learners, welcome to the e-content project method, a student standard instruction, part 3. In this part 3, we are going to learn about the various domains connected with project method. Let me start with the quote, the perspective of our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi. He is telling this, those who do not train their hands, who go through the ordinary rut of education, lack music in their life. We have to train our hands. We must train our hand and train our brain. The brain must be educated through the hand. That's why he is emphasizing work education. Learning by doing. That will not go away from a person. The whatever we learn will not go off. This project method is connected with cognitive domain, affective domain and psychomotor domain. We all know very well that it is completely connected with cognitive domain. But we are not knowing completely about the other two domains. Let us see how this project method is connected and what is the importance of the teacher to inculcate the project method in teaching. It is connected with psychomotor domain. This project method helps the pupil to develop various skills connected with selection, procurement, arrangement and use of tools and materials. When they know very well about this handling, they will produce effective work. This method develops the skill of application of problem solving method. Develops skill for greater productivity efficiency. This project method use a student's creative faculties for dis devising innovative methods and materials. On the whole, it is connected with the hands, psychomotor domain. Let us motivate our children to do various projects and enhance their learning. Very important domain in the teaching and learning of our subject is affective domain development of the feeling towards subject, attitude and values. It helps the pupil to develop respect for manual work and regard for manual workers. When they involve in project, they come to know about the difficulty of working. The difficulty of the people who involve in work. This project develops socially desirable values such as self-reliance, helpfulness, cooperativeness, teamwork, perseverance, tolerance and so on. Self-reliance is a very effective one. They have to depend on their own ability. They have to help others. They should show the cooperativeness while doing research. Perseverance and tolerance is very much needed. 
you want to teach all these social values, kindly give project. Proper work habit is developed. Regularity, punctuality, discipline, honesty, efficiency, love of excellence, dedication to duty. If anyone observes or not, if anyone watches or not, they will do their duty. The science is connected with honesty. That's why we have to give this experiential learning. This project method develops self-esteem and confidence through achievement. Sometimes failures will also teach the children to go in the right direction. This project developed a deeper concern for the environment. This project developed awareness of socio-economic problems. Appreciate the utility of productive work and services to the community. Let us give more projects to enhance these psychomotor and affective domain along with cognitive domain in our teaching. Thank you.